It's our proud pleasure to present to you, from the glorious Iowa Panhandle, a show that needs no introduction, though we're giving it one anyway, we give you, you know! Meh. Welcome to our sheepy little show. Somewhere in Iowa, in the panhandle, tucked behind a small farm, there is a pasture. A very beautiful green pasture. And in this nice, beautiful green pasture, there is a tree, a pond, a pretty yellow house with a white picket fence and a freshly mowed lawn. That... Oh, uh, sorry. There is also a whole flock of happy sheep who are outstanding in their field. But they always have to be careful of the dangerous wolves. There. We're all set up and ready to go. Are we leaving so soon? Oh, no, no. We're going to get some sheep. Don't you remember what Paul said? All right, boys. Here's how you work the u launch em Super Sling. You tie the ends to these two trees. Then, Radcliffe, you pull the rubber band back to right here. Skizzy, you'll be in here. When Skizzy says now, Radcliffe lets go of the rubber band, and Skizzy, you grab one of the sheep as you fly by the pen. Any questions? Good. Don't mess it up. Your mother and I will be waiting at the den entrance for the special delivery. It's the perfect plan. We can't miss unless we stretch the rubber band too far. Radcliffe, do you remember the plan now? No? Okay. Wait! Of course, Radcliffe had pulled the rubber band back too far, and Skizzy was off like a rocket and was nowhere near any of the sheep. And as for the landing, well... Francine, we're having sheep tonight! Finally! I'm going to use my new recipe for sheep under glass. According to my calculations, our dinner guests should be arriving any minute now. Oh, oh no! Oh, no! <laughs> I'm calling your mother. Oh, no. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. The annual Panhandle Pancake Breakfast. It is here again. I thought last year's breakfast was the best ever. Mmm, pancakes. My favorite. And have you heard the big news? Uh, no. What news? Why was I not informed? Big news? I haven't heard. Why am I always the last to know? What's the big news, Bernie? Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> Out with it already! Come on, come on. 
All right, everyone, settle down, settle down, everyone, and I'll tell you. This year's breakfast will feature a special syrup made out of stickleberries. Yay! Hey, what's all the noise about? Have you not heard? Yeah, everyone's talking about it. I just found out. What they're trying to say is they're excited about the annual Panhandle Pancake Breakfast. So, we have that every year. What's the big deal this time? Let me tell them. No, me! I think you should hear it from me. You shared the last thing. Me. 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 Calm down, everyone. I told you, so now I'll tell Spunky. The big surprise this year is a special stickleberry syrup. That sounds nice. Stickleberry syrup. That sounds like it would take a lot of stickleberries. I'm guessing uh, probably half a bush. Oh, no, Noyles. It will take a whole bush. And every berry at that. Uh, when's this pancake breakfast? This Saturday. What? We have to wait three whole days for that delicious stickleberry syrup? This is torture. It's more than this sheep can stand. It's cruel and unusual. Okay. Spunky. Is that a new scarf? They're mine, I tell you. Huh? Uh, I mean, yeah, it is. What happened to the old one? I, uh, sort of lost it. Are you all right, Spunky? Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, just fine, yeah. I'll catch up with you later. I've got to take care of some things. No, no, no! Not my precious stickleberries. They'll use them all up. Then what will I do? All I have is this one little jar. Well, that's not enough. I guess it's them or me. I'll have to get to the stickleberries first. That's it. I've got a plan. They are mine. Mine, oh mine. Oh, those sweet and sticky berries on the vine. Mine, oh mine, how can I share something that is so simply divine? It is good to share, sharing shows you care. Why do I have to share? There's not enough to spare. Oh, I just love them so much. Here's what I'm gonna do. Three for me, none for you. I'll let you look, but don't touch. They are mine. mine. Mine, all oh mine. Mine, mine. If you want your own, you'll have to get in line. Get in line. Yes, they're mine. Mine, mine. Mine, all oh mine. Mine, mine. How can I share something that is so simply divine? Sharing shows you care. Oh, my sweet little friend, I'll never see you again if I don't keep you for myself. Oh, you were meant for me, it would be a tragedy If they made you syrup on a shelf <laughs> <laughs> They are mine They are mine Mine, all oh mine Mine, mine Oh, those sweet and sticky berries on the vine On the vine Yes, they're mine Mine, mine Mine, all oh mine Mine, mine How can I share something that is so simply divine? They are mine I never heard of a stickleberry bee. When did you say my mother would be here? Mother Bernetta! You're here! How was your trip? Hi, you sweetie. The trip was fine. Hello, Mother. How are you? I'm starving. What are we having for dinner? Well, uh, me and, uh, the boys are, uh, working on that. Yeah, right now, mm-hmm. I figured as much. 
One of your plans again? Oh no, Granny. We don't have a plan yet. We're just getting one. No, Radcliffe. How? What? I was just going to tell Grandma about this morning when we... Hi, Granny. Oh, there's my skizzy wizzy. How's my little schnookums? Granny misses you so much. Look at you. All skin and bones. What are they feeding you? Veggies and bark? Oh, Granny. Here's the deal, Roger. I'm here to see that my beautiful grandchildren are properly fed. That's your job, and I'm here to make sure you get it done. Got it? Yes, sir. I mean, uh, yes, ma'am. Stickleberries are perhaps Spunky's favorite thing in the whole entire world. In fact, Spunky loves stickleberries so much that he would do almost anything to have them all for himself. Looks like I got away without anyone seeing me. Now, for the stickleberries. Yes, Spunky is now on a mission to pick all the stickleberries before they get used up to make stickleberry syrup. Ah, here are my precious little berries. Don't worry. Uncle Spunky is here to save you. Now, Spunky, is this something you should be doing? Huh? Go on, pick the berries. Look at them. They're just perfect. Don't listen to him, Spunky. He doesn't care about you or your friends. What I do care about is you getting your precious, delicious stickleberries. Well, isn't that what you want? Well, yeah. Spunky, you know you're being greedy and selfish. Do you remember what happened the last time someone picked something they weren't supposed to? Well, I... Don't pay any attention to him. You'll have more for yourself, and you can always share as many as you want. Later. Hmm? <laughs> Come to Papa. Spunky had made his choice and began to quickly pick the ripest stickleberries and put them in his wagon. He was unaware, however, that he was being watched. Who is that sheep talking to? Never mind about that. Do we go after him right now? Huh, Pop? Do we? Not just yet. We need a plan. We need a great plan. Have you caught any sheep yet? Look at this. This is the USBOTTOM 2001 Computerized Satellite Closed Circuit Surveillance System. <laughs> what do you think of that? That's really cute. But I don't understand how watching TV will help. Getting sheep should be done the old-fashioned way. You earn it. Boys, we need sheep. There, that's enough for now. I'd better get back before anyone wakes up. Spunky was able to get back in the pen without any of the other sheep knowing he was gone. He didn't get much sleep, so he had to take a long nap that day. Hmm. More syrup, please. As Spunky prepared to go out the second night, he knew he had only two days left to pick his precious berries. Hey, Pop, you were right. There's that sheep with the cool scarf. He's picking stickleberries again tonight. I figured as much. I knew he'd be back to pick those berries. Can we go pick berries? I didn't get where I am today by picking berries. Should we go get him right now? I have a better idea. How about if we have dinner come to us? Oh boy, you ordered pizza. No, Radcliffe. What do you have in mind, Paul? Take a look at these plans, boys. This is a dual spring, double hinged, super sheep pulp with remote electronic push button release. <laughs> We'll set up the springs and platform here by the bush and hide it under some leaves and sticks. The remote control button for the spring will be here in the den. 
when that sheep steps on the platform, we'll push the button and he'll be here before lunch. Pa, I've said it before and I'll say it again. You're a super genius. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. I got a brand new U Spotum 2001 computerized satellite closed circuit surveillance system. <laughs> yes, I do. And I can find seven sheep in my sleep, and it won't take a thing. <laughs> I can get anywhere that I need to be, and I can catch any sheep that I ever did see, cause I've got the coolest machinery, oh yeah, cause I'm a super genius, <laughs> yes I am, yes I'm a super genius, now listen up boys, I've got a dual spring double hinge super sheep pulled with remote electronic push button release. <laughs> so easy. And I can chase down a sheep in my sleep and I won't break a sweat. <laughs> no, no. Well, I can get anywhere that I need to be in less than 10 seconds if I launch from a tree because I've got the coolest machinery. Oh, yeah. Some super sling, we can think up anything as long as we don't have to work too. <laughs> Why would we want to work that hard? We shouldn't have to go that far just to catch a sheep or two. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Alright, here comes the good part. Though I've never caught a sheep, what matters is it's really neat to have a bunch of woofy toys. <laughs> Maybe eating bark and leaves, but at least I've got all these gadgets are what really matter, boys. <laughs> and I'm a super genius. <laughs> yes, I'm a super genius. And I'm a super genius. <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, I'm a super genius. Is it time to get up? Uh, no, not yet. Then why are you up? Me? Well, I had to go and I thought I heard the phone ring and uh, I was out jogging when all of a sudden... Bubba? Yes, Mommy? Go back to sleep. Okay. <laughs> From high atop of Craven Cliffs here in the beautiful Iowa Panhandle, contestants have come from far and wide to compete for fabulous cash and prizes on... You Cash It! You Keep It! Mr. E is our first contestant from the local flock who loves to play baseball. Are you ready, Mr. E? You will be playing for $100,000 cash in a washer and dryer! Skizzy is our second contestant from the local pack and loves his teddy bear. Are you ready, Skizzy? You will be playing for... A new car! Oops! Well, we all know what that sound means. When we hear the rooster crow... It's time to go! We'll see you all next time on... You catch it! You keep it! As we rejoin our friends, Spunky's greed has driven him to sneak out the past two nights to hoard all of the stickleberries for himself. The wolves have set a trap by the bush to capture Spunky and his berries. Spunky, 
knowing tonight is his last chance to get the rest of his delicious, yummy, precious stickleberries, has snuck out one last time. Which leads us right up to... Now! This is my last chance to pick my berries. I hope I have time to get them all. I have to have all my delicious, yummy, precious stickleberries. Oops, my scarf. Oh, well, no time to stop now. I'll grab it later. Now? No. We'll wait for him to finish picking the berries, and we'll get the sheep and the berries. Well? Is dinner here yet, or... Granny, dinner should be arriving shortly. <laughs> yeah. It looks like we're having sheep under glass with a delightful stickleberry glaze. The sheep under glass part sounds fine, but only sheep eat stickleberries. Spunky was just about finished picking berries as the sun was coming up. There, I got them all. I'd better be getting back before someone wakes up and notices I'm gone. Now! Now? Now! Whoa! What was that? Skizzy! You stepped on the cord and unplugged everything! I got it! I got it! That's better. Look at this, boys! We have an inbound bogey! Let's move to intercept! Well, we're waiting. Our dinner should be here any second now. Special delivery, if you know what I mean. Roger, Roger. <laughs> I think I see something. And unless sheep have wheels. Mother Bernetta! See what you have done? Where's Grandma? What are you playing? The sheep were just getting up and getting ready for the big day ahead. Everyone was excited about the big panhandle pancake breakfast. Mm, mm, mm. Just smell those pancakes cooking. I can hardly wait. I hope it's all you can eat again this year. I can almost taste the stickleberry syrup. Speaking of stickleberries, has anyone seen Spunky? Morning! Well, where have you been so early on this fine morning? Who, me? Oh, I've just been to see a friend who was in from out of town, and, and then we went jogging. And, of course, there was my dentist appointment. And then you should have seen the lines at the grocery market. What's a grocery market? Oh, never mind. Oh, and then I was back here a long time ago and was just over there and didn't you see me? I mean, where did you think I was? Spunky seemed to have fooled everyone with his story. They were all just about to line up for breakfast when Spunky discovered he had not fooled everyone. Spunky, are you sure that was what was really going on? You're right. I'll tell you where I really was. You see, it all started when the announcement came about the pancake breakfast and the stickleberry syrup. Spunky told all his friends that he had been out for three nights picking all the stickleberries from the bush because he wanted them for himself. He also told them that there would not be any stickleberry syrup because he had lost the wagon full of berries. So now, nobody has stickleberries to enjoy. I'm sorry, everyone, for being so greedy. I was wrong for picking all the stickleberries for myself. Oh, no! Oh, no stickleberry syrup? What are we gonna do? <laughs> Bernie, what's so funny? Did you not just hear Spunky say there would be no stickleberry syrup? 
Don't worry, Noils. There's plenty of stickleberry syrup for everyone. Let me show you. Right in front of their eyes was a whole acre of land planted with the biggest, best stickleberry bushes they had ever not seen. Um, I mean, they had ever seen. So you see, the shepherd planted all of these bushes so there would be plenty of berries for everyone. I'm sorry, everyone, for being so selfish and greedy. <laughs> Let's eat. After all, we still have plenty of stickleberry syrup for the pancakes. I don't feel very much like pancakes and stickleberry syrup today. I think I just want to be by myself. So, looks like I'm your only friend now. As the flock went to the pancake breakfast, Spunky, who was very embarrassed and sad, went off by himself. They will have nothing to do with you. <laughs> My sweet sheep, the friends I'm happy to share with them. I won't just keep things for myself. Myself. If you didn't get any, it would be a tragedy. I would feel just terrible and self-ish. Those are yours. yours, yours These are mine. Mine, mine. If I want some more, then I'll just get in line. Get in line. I'll take one. One, one. That's just fine. Fine, fine. How can I keep something that is so simply divine? Fun to share all the time with my friends. Makes them smile, tell me berries so divine. And it's wonderful to share them all the The sheep ate until they were full. And after they cleaned up the leftover pancakes, they gathered up 12 baskets full of leftovers. And then the 5,000 that were fed... <clears throat> uh, sorry. That's a different story. Yes, it was another wildly successful big panhandle pancake breakfast. All of the sheep were very satisfied, and they lay in the sun happily ever after. Or at least until our next episode. And what about our wolves? Yahoo! Well, it's not exactly sheep under glass. It'll just have to do for now. Hey, where's Radcliffe? Yahoo! Am I late for dinner? <laughs>